Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 27 in chapter 27. Chapter 27 is about magnetism. So there we have charged the particles, right? And it moves in the magnetic field and in circular motion. And then the radius is R magnetic field and is B. There tell you if the magnitude for the magnetic field is doubled, the kinetic energy it remains constant. What happens to angular momentum? Things become a little bit complicated, but I think we can work it out together. So there we are interested on how the angular momentum changes, right? So we just write down the angular momentum as RP, right? RMV, RMV, right? So now what quantity given? It tell you magnetic how magnetic field changes and the kinetic energy changes. So it looks like we need to start from magnetic field and the kinetic energy, right? So there we can write down the kinetic energy as one half mv squared. The next one, in this angular momentum, you can see you have velocity v, you have mass, and next one, you need to know the radius. How can you know radius? As we know, this charged particle do the circular motion in the magnetic field, that's right. So the Lorentz force QVB equal to mass times V squared divided by R, right? And then from this uh, equation, you can get a function for R, look like this one, right? And then how can you get a V? V from this uh, equation, you can get a function for V, look like this one. Now you input R and V in this uh, function. You get the angular momentum, look like this one, and then simplify it, you get a final answer, look like this one, right? Now you get the function for L is in terms of K and B. Now we see the initially and the final the kinetic energy constant, so K1 equal to K2. And then the initial uh, magnetic field is B1, the final becomes twice, is doubled, right? So two times B1. And then you can get the ratio for angular momentum L2 over L1 equal to 1 over 2, right? Thank you.